good evening everyone i hope you're doing fantastically today it's such a lovely day and i hope you're all making the most of it on this bright bright sun shiny shiny day except if you're watching this no doubt you're like me and you're probably under the covers with your duvet over your head and curtains pulled and scrolling 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 my favorite activity no matter what the weather if you're doing that thank you so much for being here it's so lovely to see you here for today's video i want to do a part two of my last video so i want to do spring summer trends that are happening right now that i would actually potentially dabble into last time i did spring summer trends that i thought would potentially be happening extrapolating from the data we currently have to make future predictions however in this video i'm talking about things that i've already seen going on but I really, really enjoy and would potentially take a bit of that, put it in my coffee. Today's video is going to be a wearable trends video. I wanna share with you everything on this video and I really hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe if you want to, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, everything's in the link below. First thing on my list is three quarter length trousers and not quite capris, not quite jorts just three quarter length trousers. So they're slightly shorter than normal trousers. They've got a little bit of ankle. Victorians wouldn't be happy, but we're very happy. I'm very happy with these. Specifically, I'm really enjoying three quarter length trousers with boots. So you've got boots, but a little bit of the long bit of the boot poking out of the pant. Almost like a culotte, not quite as wide leg as a culotte and not summery thin material like a culotte. More like jeans and cargo, so a thicker, heavier material. Even if you just roll up your jeans, but just to create a three quarter length length. With jorts, they're a little bit too short for this. Jorts, I do enjoy. I do enjoy jorts if they're the really long jorts that reach like your knee or even like below the knee. And I also really like capris. However, these are different. They are, and I can only describe them as three quarter lengths because my mum used to always call them that when I had these like little Reebok three quarter lengths that had a little toggle on the end and they were like light blue colored. I used to absolutely wear them to death with a stripy fleece when I was younger. And they were just called three quarter lengths and I don't know what else to call them. So that's what I'm naming them. But they're really cool and I really like them. And I think especially for spring and summer, something a bit shorter, a bit less heavy, but also not so cold, you're gonna be getting frostbite on your toes really like it. Next thing I want to talk about is the bubble hem. Yes, we've all heard of it. I'm really sorry to bring it up again. We have all heard of it. However, I wanted to put my little bit of flair on it. I wanted to talk about bubble hem on top. We've all heard of the bubble skirts and all heard of like bubble dresses, but I wanted to actually talk about, because I'm making this a wearable trends video, I would say that the bubble trend is going to go out of fashion quite quickly because it's quite unique, it's quite particular, and it's also something that you would only really buy if you're one of the fashion gals for Instagram like I don't think your everyday person who makes YouTube videos in her bedroom is going to go out and buy one I'm certainly not is what I'm trying to say however what I'm talking about is creating that bubble silhouette now I do this already whenever I wear a coat or like specifically a, a coat that's like a waterproof rain jacket coat like that are uh, they normally have like a little toggle on the end and I always pull the toggle to create like this little bubble at the bottom of my of my coat so it kind of like puffs out like this it's creating that like puffer look without it being a puffer coat but it's only the puff at the bottom which I would describe as the bubble hem I really like this because I don't like puffer coats I don't like the like muscle like stitching on a puffer coat i like though the bubble that you get at the bottom of it so i always pull my drawstring at the bottom to get that bubble silhouette i always think reminds me of yeezy's collection i think that's all coming back but as of now and now and now 2024 spring summer we're calling it a bubble hem and it's very easy to achieve just get something with a drawstring wrap that drawstring as tight as it can go fold it over a little bit and you've got this like bubble hem on top absolutely easy peasy love it remember the trend on tiktok and instagram that was saying styling not wearing your clothes this is a perfect example of this this is styling not wearing your clothes i would say putting the drawstring creating that bubble hem on a coat that would normally just be taking out the bins with your dad's crocs on type coat i would say this is styling that so that it's now appropriate for front row of fashion week next thing i've seen is barrel jeans now these are a bit of a controversial one people have very differing opinions on them i personally really like them you need to you need to feel the barrel vibe you need to become the barrel jean you need to be 
the bow-legged gremlin that you are. You can't just be thinking, I'm going to wear these like a normal pair of jeans. When people carry it out with that much confidence, I actually really enjoy it. The jeans that I've shown in multiple of my videos with the cinch back waist from BDG, they are barrel jeans because they have that stitching on the... Hang on a minute. These are the jeans I'm talking about. Um, they have that cinch back waist, which is what I primarily bought them for. But also... They have on the knee, on the inside leg, they have this stitching bit that makes them that like, I've got rickets, bow-legged, barrel jean shape. And I really like it. And I think some people do it so fantastically well. Other people don't bother going to free people to get a pair of mega expensive ones if you don't know if they're for you or not. Try a pair of BDG jeans. I got one pair for five pounds off of Vinted. This pair, brand new, 15 pounds off of Vinted. Next thing on my list is, I'm not really sure what to call these actually, but these sort of collared frilly little blouses. I'm not sure if they have a specific name. A vintage style would find in the charity shop that like a sort of nursery teacher would wear, that kind of thing. I really like these. I think they're so, so sweet. I like them particularly when they're like slightly, slightly cropped or the bottom buttons are undone. They're nice and high at the top. They've got an almost slightly puffed sleeve. You might have some ruching somewhere. All of them are slightly different and particularly with the vintage ones, everything is always slightly, slightly different. Vintage clothing is always so, so gorgeous. I just love these. I think they're really, really sweet, really good for spring and summer. I've seen Daughter of a Hoarder wear one of these. Honestly, most fantastic top and was the inspiration for this. Absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of reminding me of Ganny, but not Ganny. More like would be on Ganny's Pinterest board. These are collared frilly tops. They're, they're kind of like an A-line. And if you create them in like an A-line type shape, I think that's really, really sweet. And I've seen also dresses in this kind of shape, this A-line shape, like a little doll, kind of like baby doll type silhouette but not hugging anywhere but a very triangular shape i really like everything in that size shape dresses tops blouses really really sweet next thing on my list i actually spoke about way back when it was christmas time and i would really like to be wearing this spring and summer a graphic t-shirt that's really like stupid and silly there's kind of two types of these and i quite like both of them actually so there's one type that are the 2024 made ones to make like they are stupid they're made to look quirky and a bit silly they're made to look a bit stupid and I do appreciate that. I think that they're more, they, they look nicer if you were to just wear it as a t-shirt and they'd probably last longer in the trend cycle, blah, 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 because it's just at the end of the day, a graphic t-shirt. There's also another category, I believe, that's back 2010s Tumblr era that has slogans about keep calm and love one direction type things. If you wear them in an ironic, satirical way, putting on that filter, Addison Ray style, I think we can pull that off. Anyway, both of these, I do actually like the idea of. I like, in general, the idea of a graphic t-shirt with like a slogan, a stupid slogan. Also, brands making their own knockoffs. So they're making clothing and other various attire that's made to look like it's a knockoff. So it's made to look a bit tacky and like, you know, I love a misspelling on a t-shirt or I love when they've just got, they, they've got the sentiment right, but they just haven't quite carried it out quite as well. I like things like that because it makes you look at the t-shirt and think, oh, that's cool. It's cool. I think it's, I think it's cool, personally. Last thing on my list is a pair of shoes that I showed in my thrift haul video. Go watch it, highly recommend, 10 out of 10. Best thing I ever made, best thing you ever watch. Uh, wallabies. I really like them. I think they're really cute. I think they're very little schoolboy. I really like them when you wear them with white socks and shorts or big baggy jeans or something like that. So you go really boyish with them. And I also like them worn on men. They can obviously be worn for men or women. And I think that both genders absolutely slay. I think they're really cute. I love wallabies. That kind of moccasins vibe. I just think it's really, really sweet. And it's something slightly different from just your trainer, your ballet flat. I dress quite in a boyish way. And these definitely fit my aesthetic as the girls would say. I have tan suede colored ones. I like the dark brown ones. They are sort of giving a Birkenstock type vibe. People who have a pair of Birkenstocks, get yourself a pair of wallabies. I'm sure you'll like them. Same demographic. 
but that was today's video i really hope you enjoyed it it's so lovely to see you here as it always is tell me if you will be also similarly dabbling in any of these trends as these are the slightly more wearable ones of the two videos i have made and i will see you very incredibly soon love you bye